Title is, It's Me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Or is it? My boyfriend and I have been together for over two years and moved in together nine months after we met. Prior to moving in together, we both had our own places and worked full time. Once we moved in together, we discussed how we would handle our finances together. On paper, it all looked great. Then reality started setting in. I was paying for the majority of our expenses and any additional things we did. I paid for beach vacations, groceries, dinner dates, our cruise, etc. He never once offered to pay anything towards these additional expenses. He was completely fine with me paying for these on my own. As time has gone on, it's become more obvious to me that he is never going to contribute towards anything extra we do and that it was all going to be on me. Of course, this is frustrating to me, and I've talked to him about helping more, but nothing has changed. If anything, it has gotten worse. I make double what he makes, so I'm fine with contributing more to our expenses, but it's to the point now that I'm paying for way more than I should be, and I continually help him out as well. I feel totally taken advantage of. He started a new job in October and was making a lot more money than he was prior, so I was excited that all of this financial burden wouldn't fall so heavily on me anymore. Well, he only lasted at this job for a few weeks because he said he hated it and he quit. He then found another job making what he was making before. So my excitement about getting some financial help was very short-lived. And to make matters even worse, we have no intimacy, no relationship. I couldn't honestly tell you when he has taken me on a real date, months and months ago. I've discussed with him my financial concerns, my relationship concerns, my intimacy concerns, and he thinks everything is fine and that I'm just being mean. So tell me, am I the problem? Should I be okay to never having intimacy? Should I be okay with never being taken on a date? Should I be okay with paying for pretty much everything? I'm at the point where continuing this relationship has no positive benefits for me. I'm getting nothing out of it. I feel like I deserve better than this. Or is it me? Am I the problem? Am I wanting too much? And here to give us her insights on this story is the one and only Candy Thunder. Uh, what what are your thoughts here? What's Get the-, the f out. Get out of this relationship. Yeah, like run for the hills, and when you get there, just keep running. You do, like you you answered your own questions. You, he doesn't take you on dates. There is no intimacy. This is you are just paying for him to do things at this point. There's there's this isn't a relationship. I, yeah, I think this is this is indifference, right? There is yeah. There are worse things than being alone. And, and this True. is one of them. You're wasting money that you could be saving. Go to the beach by yourself. Get a dog. Like, explore different things because this relationship is not. You've got to get things out of a relationship as much as you put into them. And you're not getting anything out of this relationship. You're just sinking money into it and getting nothing for it. So it feels like the the nail in the coffin for me reading this was um, I've, I've explained all of this. I've explained my concerns about the financial situation, about the emotional situation, about the intimacy, about everything. And he thinks everything is fine and that I'm just being mean. <laughs> if he, from an emotional intelligence standpoint here, <laughs> when you try to explain how you feel is like, everything's fine. You're just being mean. That That's a deal breaker right there because you're so mean. <laughs> yeah, one of the most important things that I've learned um, in, in having a successful relationship from Candy Thunder is that whenever something needs to be addressed, <laughs> I'm excited to hear this. <laughs> yeah. Whenever something needs to be addressed and something needs attention and something needs to change, if your partner tells you, listen and take it seriously, they're not telling you to be shitty to you. They're not telling you to be mean. They're telling you to give you an opportunity to change something or to fix something that they feel like is broken and that needs to change because the way that it's headed, the direction that it's headed is not in a healthy direction. Whenever Candy tells me that something is bothering her, that gives me the information I need to be able to change those things and to be able to solve a problem. I didn't always know that, right? And that's something you have to learn over time, but, but for whatever reason, it finally clicked for me. And I'm like, okay, so now, now when I hear things, I'm going to address and fix problems unless I'm just dead set on being an asshole that day. But that's, that's neither here nor there. In general, the fact that he's not respecting <laughs> your feelings here, even when you spell them out for him and he has no plans to solve any of the problems that he now is aware exist, what are you supposed to do with that? There's nothing you can do with that. And I feel like intimacy, like I agree with everything that you said and uh, intimacy in a relationship. Like if you don't have that in your in your partnership with your spouse or your your significant other, I mean, what what's the point of having a relationship? Like that's supposed to be the person that knows you the best. Like that, 
it means something to have that intimacy. And it's not just sex or anything like that. It's cuddling on the couch, like watching a movie together. It's right. it's all of these different things. And if you don't have that, um, like I said, get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle with the dog. You know what? We might go back to this in the Dusty Thunder subreddit and paste a link once this video gets posted. Yeah. Um, and I hope that by the time that we get this video to to this person, I hope that you're gone. I hope that you're out of this yeah. relationship. Absolutely. You you end this by saying, I'm at the point where continuing this relationship has no positive benefits for me. I'm getting nothing right. out of it. I feel that I deserve better right. than this. As and you, you should. You, you should. Know. And you should not feel guilty about that. Like you should be getting something out of a relationship. And if you're not, then find a new relationship. How long have you all been together? Uh, moved in together nine months after you met over two years. So I, I will <laughs> yeah. say this. Um, he's, he's comfortable and, and not working towards, definitely. towards bettering it. We also don't know ages um, here and that could come into play because I do, I do strongly believe that especially young couples, you can outgrow your partner. Mm -hmm. If it's a young partner, if you guys get together yeah. really young, like one of you grows up and one doesn't, it happens. Right. Um, and people, people can grow apart, but it seems like you guys were never on the same page in the first place. And that's where this is a little bit weird. I think maybe OP, you were waiting on him to grow up and he just hasn't done it yet. And that little glimmer of hope where he did it and had, uh, had a, a big boy job for a minute. Um, and then, and then all of a sudden it was like, I don't like it. I hate it. And then went back to it. That was that was deflating, right? So it's, you had a glimmer of hope that he was going to grow up for a minute, and then it, he was resistant to it. So you're, <laughs> it's like you're teetering on indifference here. <laughs> this is a man child, honey. Get out. Just get out. There's, I mean, uh, I'm a man child. No, I understand not. that. No, you're not. In ways. <laughs> yeah. In some ways. So uh, OP here. Uh, I know it's not an AITA question, but you're you're not the asshole for feeling what you're feeling or thinking what you're thinking, and I think you already know the answer here. Um, but the nail in the coffin for me is that you said I've explained how I feel. I've expressed my concerns about this, 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 and this. And he's like, everything's fine. You're just being mean. Okay. Time to move on. <laughs> if your rebuttal is you're just being mean, uh, then you're, I'm going to start using that. <laughs> you're not an adult. I'm going to start using that whenever Candy Thunder brings up something. I'm going to be like, you're just being mean.